everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be sharing seven daily habits or tips that I think are super valuable in helping improve your productivity and happiness in life, which in turn will obviously improve your life. So let's jump straight into it. Habit or tip number one is to make your bed every day. I know some people might think that sounds ridiculous, but it is such a small thing, but it can make such a big difference because within minutes of waking up, you've already accomplished that first task of your day, which gives a sense of pride and satisfaction, which is exactly how you wanna start your day. They say that the most successful people make their bed every day, and I definitely believe that. It also helps people like me that can easily slip back into bed and get a few more minutes sleep to not do that because you're way less likely to jump back into your bed if it's already made. Tip number two is to stay off your phone and I'm talking about before and after bed. So before bed, obviously it's important because the blue light in your phone is obviously not too good for your eyes and your brain, it keeps you awake keeps you producing cortisol instead of producing melatonin, which helps you uh, fall asleep. I also think it's not the best to be looking at social media before you sleep, as you can be comparing yourself and all that kind of thing right before you go to sleep. And that's not the last thing you wanna be thinking about. So I find the easiest way is just to put your phone down and maybe meditate or listen to a guided meditation or something like that, or even just read before bed. In the morning, I'm even more strict with being on my phone. I definitely don't go on my phone within the first 30 minutes of waking up. As our brains are still in the transition period called sleep inertia. During this period of up to 30 minutes, our brains progressively switch from being asleep to being awake. This is also the case for our mental and cognitive performance. Just remember, your morning ultimately sets up how you'll spend the rest of your day. So it's super important to stay off your phone while you're still waking up. Otherwise, you could be comparing yourself to others, becoming overwhelmed with the day ahead, or you could even see something that triggers negative thoughts. When I wake up in the morning, I hop out of bed, I take my dog Hershey out to go to the toilet. <laughs> then I come back, I make my bed, I drink some water, and I will write in my gratitude journal. Once I've written in my gratitude journal, I will start planning my day, I will write my to-do list for the day, and then I'll probably read for 20 to 30 minutes. Also super important to take some time to look after yourself. So these first 30 minutes in the morning are definitely my me time, where I make sure to get into a positive headspace Space so I can have the best day possible. Number three is to be grateful. Like I said before, every morning when I wake up, I will write in my gratitude journal. So I write three things that I am grateful for today. I write three things that I would like to achieve today. And then at the end of the day as well, I write why today was so great. And I find it's definitely changed my mindset and my outlook on life. It's helped me be obviously way more grateful, but it's also helped me be happier and appreciate everything in life a whole lot more. Number four is to drink plenty of water. Like I said before, again, I like to drink water as soon as I wake up because you're very dehydrated when you wake up because you spent the last eight or nine hours without any water. Drinking water in the morning before you have any food also helps fire up your metabolism, helps your body flush out toxins and gives your brain fuel. And as much as it is important to drink water in the morning, it's also important to drink water all day long and stay hydrated. Don't just wait till you're thirsty as that actually means you're dehydrated. So make sure you've always got a water bottle on you and you're sipping on water all day. I like to drink about three liters of water per day. Number five is to learn something new every day. This could be by reading a book, listening to a podcast, or just talking to somebody. With books, I personally love reading books. I try to read morning and night, but I know books aren't for everyone. So podcasts are also great to help you learn something new every day. I like listening to podcasts while I clean, while I drive, all that kind of stuff. And I've actually learned a whole lot from listening to podcasts. Number six is to plan your day. I find it super important to feel organized and on top of everything. I know sometimes uh, when you've got a lot on, it can feel quite overwhelming and you just don't know where to start. On Sundays, I like to plan my whole week and then every day I'll write out a to-do list of what I need to do in the day. I love the satisfaction of being able to tick off a task I've completed and yeah, I just think it's super important to be on top of everything you need to do. And 
lastly, number seven is to have a tidy space. I don't know about you, but my room definitely reflects what's going on in my head. So if I have a messy room, then I definitely have a messy head. So I like to keep my room as clean and clear as possible so that I have a clean and clear head and I can think properly. I find the easiest way to keep my room clean is to have a spot for everything and then do just a quick five minute clean every morning to make sure everything is in its spot. And also put your washing away as soon as you've done it. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed these seven daily habits that you can implement into your life to help increase productivity and happiness. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit subscribe down below. Bye for now.